player numbers on the red. Verify? Who? What combination? All of us. We all need to verify. Why? You really think this is a good time to ask questions? Just do it. Yes, hurry, 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 hurry! Hurry the fuck up! Greetings, my beautiful viewers. I am the Hunter of Comedy, and welcome back to Nine Hours, Nine Persons, Nine Doors. Guess what? We just found out that Akane is probably zero. I still have my doubts on that. I'm still not certain, because she's, like, not wanting to kill anyone and not wanting to do the bad things. So, I, I don't know if she actually is zero, but we're going to find out about this. We have to save Akane. She, we found out last time that Akane is looking into... Akane is looking into the future. From the past. And now, Junpei is the only way to save her. She watched him solve the puzzles and everything that she supposedly set up as Zero. So that, you know, she could learn how to save herself in the past. It's brilliant. Oh, it's, it's such a twist too, because I never figured Akane would have been connected. I mean, like, I figured, I thought maybe she was Santa's sister, but beyond that, no, I had no idea. Either way, it's, you're right. All right, time to get to work, Junpei. Is Snake talking to them, is Snake talking to them about something? Whatever, it doesn't matter. Get out of my way. Hey, what are you? Just trust me, okay? Sorry, Lotus, I didn't mean to snap, but there's a lot more at stake here than your pride. I'll apologize later, all right? Now, let's have a look at this thing. We've got numbers all over the grid. I think the panels are out of order. I just need to, I just need to switch these out, right? Staring isn't going to accomplish anything. I just have to try it. God, think of what I did all those times before. I'm gonna do this on my own, with my own mind. I'm gonna solve this problem. With my own mind, why is that highlighted? <laughs> Alrighty. Seek a way out! The final time, my friends. Okay. Wait. When I press the hint, numbers appear in the empty slots. They're all single digits. I get the feeling the numbers change when I switch out the yellow squares. But this square button... Why does it stay blank when I press the hint? Two. That's one that will not move. Hmm. Okay. Let's think about this objectively. That's what was there before. So... Let's switch out. Hmm. Why would I put the W there? Does that go? Sponsors meeting between the two modes. What could it mean? I flipped the switch. Okay. I flipped the hint off. All the empty sockets look like the same as the bottom right. Wait, what do you mean they all look the same as the bottom right? What does that mean? All the empty slots look like the one in the bottom right. Does that mean they're supposed to match? Is that what I need to do? Do I need to make them all nines? Maybe you need to make all the numbers in the squares the same. Okay. Ah, oh, that might that might do it. And I'm guessing I'm gonna need the hexadecimal system here to do this. But uh, how am I gonna do this? How did that make nine? Okay, 
So this is kind of hard to figure out, guys. Um, I may be a little quiet while I'm trying to figure the way. That didn't change at all. S and A didn't change at all. Why did S and A not change at all? Why did it do that? So... So this I can't change. These are all nines. Ooh, that didn't change again. Now it changed. Okay, now it changed. All rows of five. Huh. All rows of five. Maybe the digital root? Maybe it has something to do with that? Um, I got my bad paper here. Um, let me see here. Let me see if I can figure this out. Okay, so... Okay. If I switch out a yellow square, the numbers show up in the hint... The numbers that show up in the hint change, too. Both of the numbers are affected by the adjacent squares. For example... When I switch out the 3 and 5, the hint changes to 2. But the hint just adds the surrounding numbers. <gasps> adds the surrounding numbers. Okay. What does that mean? Ooh, wait, hold on. Okay, let's see if I... Okay, that did change it. Oh, I got more nines. That's good. Um, what do I do here? Um, D? That did not help. That did not help at all. Displays what the adjacent yellow squares add up to. How do they do that? How how does that how is that a thing that happens? So most of the numbers should, should be two digits. This so only has a single digit. They must be calculated in a different way. Digital roots. If they're digital roots, then they'll always end up as one digit. Okay, so maybe that's the case. Okay. Oh, okay. I think I may. I think I may have gotten now. Okay. I'm gonna do a little experiment here, so it may take me just a second. Okay. I took a second to write out all of the hexadecimal alphabet to help me with this, so I should be able to figure this out now. Okay. It's gonna be a little bit of experimenting, kind of touch and go for a little bit here. Uh, bear with me while I try to figure some of these out. Okay. Wait. Hold on. Pass. Word. Password? Holy crap! It was that simple! Holy crap! Enter password. Oh, fuck. I don't know what the password is. What is the password? What would the password be? I don't know. Uh... Zero? Oh, that's not a zero. Nope. Dang it. D E R O? No. What, what could the password be? I I'm racking my brain here, but I can't think of what a what the password would be. Um Escape? Escape? Switch. We put a password now then. Are there any hints? What the hell am I supposed to put here? 
Ah, uh, I don't know. Akane? Maybe? No? Hmm. I'm gonna, literally gonna type in error just for shits and giggles. Screen appears after I solve the last puzzle. Maybe the hint was in that one? Um, but, but, but what would the hint be? Uh, I mean, I made a bunch of nines and I spelled the word password, but I don't, I mean, a shot in the dark. Pass. No. God dang, this thing does not move the way I want it to. If it is this, I will laugh. Nope. Nope, that's not it. God damn it. I need another hint. The puzzle. The answer ended up being password. After it was an extra space. The ninth square. Maybe that's the password? But... It said password, then there was an extra space. What else could it be? Puzzle. I solved it by making the hint squares all nine. There should be a nine as well. That means... It's nine?! The digital root. Yes! That's it! Akane! Did you get it? Please tell me she got it! Yes, I did! I solved it! I mean, really, you solved it for me, but I copied everything you did! Good! Now I just have to press enter! And what the hell are you waiting for? Push it! Okay, I... I hit the enter key. Emergency shutdown command has been confirmed. Oh. Incineration system has been disabled. Holy oh, crap. rolled down my face as I cried out to him. There was, but they were a very different sort of tears. Happy tears! A wonderful feeling of, of accomplishment and relief flooded my body. At the same time, what strength I had left disappeared and I collapsed to the floor. For a while I lay there, laughing and crying and enjoying being alive. Every time I thought about him, I thought my heart would burst. Oh. Whew. Can't quite believe I did that, but I am so glad, so glad. I feel like my heart's on fire. Ooh. What? No, I don't have time to be thinking about that kind of shit. I need to tell Akane. Akane sorry, but things are kind of busy over here. I'm gonna have to hang up now. Okay. I'm gonna have to hang up now. Oh, of course, that's fine. I wiped the tears from my eyes and nodded vigorously, even though I knew he couldn't see me. I looked over at the corner of the floor. There were two bracelets Hongo had left behind. Now. Well, Seven and Lois didn't look particularly happy with me. Not a very nice look to give someone who just saved your lives, guys. Are you... Okay? Ah, shut it. Right. Okay, so maybe they have a reason to be pissed off. So what if I haven't pressed the enter key yet? All right, nothing holding me back now. Here goes. Wait. Incineration will begin in 90 seconds. <laughs> it doesn't sound like it's stopping. <sighs> what the shit? Why isn't it stopping? Oh, God. Oh, God, I, I don't know. Maybe I didn't hit the key hard enough. Just hit it again and again and again. It's not working either. The alarm's still going off. What the hell is going on? Call the numbers in the right boxes. It's perfect. So why the fuck isn't it stopping? Incineration will begin in 60 seconds. Wait, of course. 
That's what the number showed up after the puzzle. Two, four, five, seven, plus eight. Two, four, five, seven, plus eight. It's all of them. Yeah. Snake, Clover, Me, Seven, Lotus. Then door nine. No, that's it. The door, the number on the door isn't nine. It's not even a number. It is hidden, but an exit can be found. Seek a way out. Seek a door. Holy shit. Of course. Do we just have to put the right number into the red and... Run, guys! Get to the door! Run! Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit! Don't have much time! And I sure hope they just trust me with this or we are fucked! Alright, no time to explain, just go. Verify your numbers on the red! Verify? Who? What combination? All of us! We all need to verify! Why? You really think this is a good time to ask questions? Just do it! Yes, hurry, 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 hurry! Hurry the fuck up! carries a nine what's he mean by it's not a nine? Oh, thank fucking christ is it a different symbol like what okay i'm gonna find the digital root of their numbers real quick hold on one second okay so their digital root comes up as eight i don't know why the digital root comes up as eight but it does unless i yeah their digital root comes up as eight i don't know why but anyway like i'm gonna fit i'm gonna find out no no time to be happy time to go Seconds before the door closes. Go, go, go! Yes, go! Come on, guys, move it! Okay, they're all through. Move it, Junpei! Just in time. And where is... Where is the dead? There goes the door. We're tired of calling it. We're not done. Still gotta find the dead. There it is! Hmm... Oh, thank God. Oh, Jesus. Oh, oh, God. Those are relieved pants. Shit. Oh, and I don't mean like pants that make you poop better. We're panting in relief. Looks like we made it, huh? <laughs> Man, that guy sure can laugh when he wants to. Said so Clover and Lotus are totally out of energy. Snake is shaking his head wearily. I just want to take a nap, but... Akane? Akane! Can you hear me? Akane! I want to tell her we made it. I want to tell her how good I feel. But, nothing. Akane vision time! door open. Standing in front of it was my brother. Akane! Oi! I cried his name even though my voice was almost gone from screaming and leapt into his arms. Oh, Aoi! <gasps> Akane! He buried my face in his chest and cried again. I cried and cried and cried. The steady thumping of his heart in my ear made me feel like I was home. It beat almost like a lullaby. I wrapped my arms around him as far as they would go and held him as tight as I could. Just to be there felt like a miracle. But I, I love this scene, but I, I still don't get it. And I hope they explain it, because here's the thing. In in his... Also, she needs to verify with the dead, otherwise she's going to blow up. Does she have the other two bracelets? Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Anyway... Um, does she, like, if she is alive, if she does make it, like, if this is a thing that happens, then why did he and Aoi remember, like, you know, seeing her burnt up corpse? Like, how, like, why is that a thing that happened? It, it, it obviously happened in this timeline, so how is it, I don't know, I don't get it. 
I hadn't felt the warmth of another human being in what seemed like an eternity. I just wanted to stay in his arms forever, but I couldn't. The moment I passed through the door, my bracelets had begun to count down to death. I leapt away from him and looked around. The door had already closed. I spotted the dead only a short distance away. Ugh. It took me only a moment to get to and scan all the bracelets. I left the one Hongo had I left the ones Hongo had dropped on the scanner panel. That was it. Uh. I took a deep breath and looked around again. The huge detective who we'd call seven in nine years and Snake the blind boy were looking at me. They seemed to have an utterly stunned by my sudden appearance. Their eyes were wide and their mouths hung open. Right, let's get out of here. If we don't book it, we might run into Hongo again. Now we was right. It was time to get moving. The mention of Hongo seemed to jar Seven and Snake out of their surprise, and they nodded. They took off running up the spiral stairs to freedom. Time for more running. But if they can get us out of here, no wonder we're running so hard. My heart's beating so hard I can barely hear. God, I can't wait to breathe real air again. Huh? Is Seven talking? Hey, Junpei, can I ask you something? What's up? That door. The one with the nine of them. Why'd it open? Yeah, all five of us verified our numbers on the red. Two plus four plus five plus seven plus eight is twenty-six. No. That makes our digital root eight. That's what I figured out. It shouldn't have opened. Nope. <laughs> That's not like you, Lotus. I thought you would have figured it out already. Huh? Because you were the person who taught me about the idea of bases. Bases? Yeah. What are the two numbers in base two? Zero and one. How about base 10? That goes from 0 to 9, right? And how about base 16? 0 through F. After 9, it starts at A and goes from there. B, C, D, etc. You're right. In other words, A in base 16 is 10 in base 10. B is 11, C is 12, D is 13, and so on. So, what about it? You don't get it? What if we keep going with that pattern? What if you go way past base 16 all the way to base 27? Base 27? Base 27? Yeah. Well, the numerical digits are the same. So, I guess you'd add alphabetical digits. E is 14, F is 15, G is 16. H is 17, I is 18, J is 19. K is 20, L is 21, M is 22. N is 23, O is 24, P is 25. Yeah, and what comes after that? Uh, hmm. uh, Q. 26. And what does that mean? That wasn't a nine on the door. It was a Q. A fucking lowercase Q. And we thought it was a nine. Holy fuck. Yep, that's pretty much it. I guess to put it another way, you could say that it was a nine in base 10, but a Q in base 27. Time for more running. God, my thighs are killing me. I swear any moment now I'm gonna tear a muscle. I feel like every cell in my body is dying for air. Damn, every breath I take is a chore now. I feel like my lungs are gonna burst. Maybe just a short rest. No, I can't stop. Don't have time. Come on, legs. There can't be many more of these steps left. Watch it go on for another, like, 30 floors. Let's run. Run like a bullet down a rifled barrel. That's not the way... Things run, dude. Like a tornado coming through a sea of clouds. That is again not running. That is two very different things. I feel like we're running along the back of a giant coiled dragon. That's cool. Finally. Ooh. A lot of panting. Oh. Jesus, I could barely breathe. No, Jumpei, no time to rest. Pull yourself together, we're almost there. Alright, I'm gonna open it. Good. Yeah. Yes, we're finally here! Please do! Please get the door to fuck open! Sure, looks like a big heavy door, but you're the only thing standing between me and my freedom! But even more important than that, you're the only thing between me and Akane. You're gonna open, and you're gonna open now! Ah. <sighs> <sighs> I felt a hand on my shoulder. It was Aoi's. He gave it a small, reassuring squeeze. I was so happy I could melt. My heart was at peace, not only because my brother and I were back together again, thanks to the huge detective, all nine of us who had been kidnapped. 
finally able to escape the gigantic. On the distant horizon, we could see the faint outline of the ship as it sank. It gave a thunderous roar as it finally slipped beneath the waves. Its last cry echoed across the ocean, and then it was gone. Wait a second! So the boat sank, yes? So we can't be on the gigantic! I bet we're at that facility in Nevada! Oh, if we're at the facility in Nevada, I am gonna flip. It's over. Now we whisper. Yeah. Oh, it was over. It was finally over. Or was it? Was it really? No, that was wrong. That wasn't it at all. I was sure of it. This wasn't the end. It was only the beginning. This was only a prologue to what would happen in nine years. Because you have to set up this nonary game. Oh, damn. Yes, finally, air! God damn, that sun's bright. Barely see anything. I gotta admit, this doesn't look quite like. No way! You gotta be shit. What? It can't be. This is. <laughs> I was right! They're at the facility in Nevada! They were never on a boat! Oh my god! What a fucking twist! The mock experiment building. Oh my god. This whole time we were in building Q. Sure enough. It's a desert out there with mountains all around it. Hello there, son. Boy, am I ever glad to see you again. Most of the time it's not... Most of the time I'm like, fuck you, son, you burned me. Today I'm like, hello, son. Turn my pasty-ass tan, you bastard. I don't think I've ever been so happy to see a sunrise. Huh? I just hear something fall. <gasps> the bracelets, they are off! Right, our bracelets. I really hope we're gonna shit out the bombs later. I guess they've really got a good look at the other side of these. Let's see what's inside you. Just a little electronic chip. Like an ATM card. That's it. There's nothing else. Nothing that even looks like a detonator. There was never a detonator to begin with. Figures. Connie. The it seems like the only people that she actually put bombs into was um like the probably like you know the four guys who you know she and her brother wanted to get revenge on. More than likely, that's it. Like everyone else who she didn't want to get hurt didn't have bombs. That makes sense. Whoa. Huh. Guess I must be pretty crazy about the girl. Girl, if I think I'm hearing her voice in the wind. Hm. Is that really the end? I mean, is that it? Yeah, maybe, maybe that is it. Very interesting how we were never actually on a boat. Oh, snake being badass. Huh. And we never found out what happened to Santa, Hongo, or the other guys. I mean, we know what happened to those assholes right there. And the people who we didn't want to die didn't even have bombs or detonators in them, I'm guessing. Oh, man. Now, that was a trip. Now, here's the thing. is I don't think it's quite over yet. I think we're going to get a little bit more here about what happens to Hongo and what happens to... Um, Akane and Santa, because I don't think they would just leave us completely hanging like this. At least I hope that they don't. I will be kind of pissed if they do that. 
Oh, there's the ninth man. He went boom. I called him boom. It was fun. I enjoyed that. And there's zero. Why does he look all beat up? They never explain that. Why does he look all beat up right there? What happened? Yeah, because... Actually, I remember there was like a flashback thing in the preview that we never got to see. A Kane vision. Are you okay? Oh, come on. Uh, this is nothing. Really? Yeah. You don't look okay. Just before the end of elementary school, Jumpy and I were sitting next to each other on a small hill, looking down at the town as the sun slowly set. How does it look then? He was half serious and half joking. I thought about it for a minute first. Um, well, let's see. You look horrible, kid. You look really bad. It looks like you kissed a toad and got warts, but then they just kept growing and growing and growing. I love her explanation. <laughs> what does that even mean? It means you look ugly. Jimpe grinned and... Ow, 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 ow. Oh. See? I told you you're not okay. You're too reckless. Yeah, but he's... he's Junpei. You can't beat five eighth graders, Jumpy. That's crazy. Yeah, but I couldn't just stand there. I mean, don't you think so? I had to do something. Huh. Oh, there's a car waiting for us. Look at the Vada Desert go. For an SUV, this thing is a pretty smooth ride. Sure was nice of someone to leave it for us outside the building. Keys in the ignition, gas in the tank. Almost like it was a present, you know? Anyway, we jumped in and now we are... Now here we are, screaming across the desert. Lois is over there in the passenger seat. Snake and Seven and I are squeezed into the back seat here. Clover's driving? I still can't believe we let her drive. This is so fun! Oh. This is so awesome! Driving is so great when there's nothing around. And there's no speed limit. Hey, uh, Clover, watch those bumps, all right? This car jumps even a little, and I think I'm going to get crushed to death. <laughs> oh, 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 they will smash him. Hey, shut it. I can't help if I'm big, all right? Suck it up. Oh, whatever. Why don't you drive, Seven? I'm a cop. I ain't going to break the law. He doesn't have an international license. Yeah, but you could have sat in the passenger seat. Oh, hell no. There's no way I'm giving this seat up. I figured not. And Clover, there's no need to slow down. The car Santa and June are in should be somewhere down this road ahead of us. Yeah, I saw some fresh tire tracks going out. Oh, we're going to have to go after them. No doubt about it. Then we've got to hurry if we want to catch them, don't we? Yeah. Sure thing. Oh, shit. God damn, she doesn't know how to drive so fast. Man, uh, I didn't ever think a car like this could go this fast. Sure, they're throwing up a lot of dust. It was a couple hours after we run into the junior high students. They've been hiding in the bushes on the back of one of the hills, drenching a kitten in gasoline. What? The one we saw that what they're doing, Jumpy ran to them, furious. Hey, what the hell are you doing? Then he jumped on them. He quickly scooped up the kitten and tossed it to me. I caught it and ran for the police station as fast as I could. Help me! Officer, please! You have to come with me! The policeman and I headed back to the hill. All we found was Jumpy sprawled on the ground with a face covered in big swelling lumps. You couldn't run away after you threw the kitty to me? He stuck his tongue out through the hole in his mouth where a tooth had fallen out. Yeah, I, I guess I could have. Then why didn't you? I didn't want to. I wanted to beat him up. Beat him up real good. Yes, you did. And you should have. Anyone who does that to a cat! Oh! My rage is furious and throbbing. I will let my rage boner out one of these days, but that is not today! For we have the feels to get through, and to figure out where the fuck everyone is! Because of what they were doing to the kitty. Yes! Yeah, that too, but I think they were the ones behind those murders our first semester, remember? <gasps> they killed the rabbits. They must 
die. Not the rabbits. Oh, you mean the bunnies. Yeah, the bunnies. Pluck some grass on the ground and toss it into the wind. They asked me what elementary school I was from, so I told them. And then they said they'd do the same thing to you that they did to the rabbits. <gasps> they th legit threatened a kid's life! I couldn't forgive him for that, so I... Hey, uh, there's still some stuff I don't get. Of course, they probably don't know any more than I do. Like Ace. Well, I guess I should say Guitaro Hongo. Why did he create the Nonary Project? Anybody? Any ideas? Why don't you ask him yourself? No, well, yeah, I guess I could. He's still in the trunk, I assume? Wait, he's in the trunk?! What?! <laughs> what? We're taking him to the police! Nice! Still tied up, I'm assuming, with his mouth taped shut. His eyes looked empty, no emotion. Looks like he's just given up. Wonder if he even cares what happens to him anymore. Hey, were you listening to us? Yeah, go ahead and try to pretend you weren't, you old bastard. Let's get that tape off your mouth. Come on, I know you were. Answer me. You could at least look at me when you talk, old man. I, I only wanted to see the faces. Human faces. I thought, I thought if I could gain the ability to access the morphic field set, then perhaps I could see faces. You did all of this just to see faces? Peering into people's minds, you could understand how they were processing the expressions of others. That's it? Yes. If you want to put it simply, if you are looking for a more philosophical I can supply that as well. Fuck you! You see, the human collective consciousness... I think that's enough out of you, pal. Time for the tape to go back on. Alright, so what's your second question? You said there were some things you didn't get, didn't you? Oh, well, some was a little noisy. Well, my next question doesn't really have anything to do with you two. This is for you, Seven. It's about the whole Alice thing. What's the deal with that? Well, you see, nine years ago, I escaped from the Gigantic. I kept going after Hongo on my own. I could catch him when he finally slipped up. And during the course of the investigations, I learned a lot more about the Gigantic. I also found out about Gordain and Alice. You're not really answering my question. Was there actually a girl who wouldn't melt at room temperature? <laughs> Sounds like Hongo has something to say. Alright, fine, I'll let you talk, but you gotta behave. What? <laughs> Alice doesn't exist. Nine years ago. I found Alice's coffin behind the library on the bottom deck. There was nothing in it. The root of a peculiar plant. My research determined that it was a member of the genus Madrigora, of the family Solanaceae. I was able to extract a particular alkaloid from it. I used that extract to create soap. Its creation was a tremendous boon to my firm, and we grew rapidly. Shit, this is gonna go on forever. Tape's going back on, Hongo. Most of my questions can wait a bit. For now, I think I'll just enjoy the ride. Hmm. At least we're answering some of my questions. For you. Oh. What's this? This is a uh, for you doll. Uh, his name is Junpei. Oh! Junpei pulled something out of his pocket and shoved out his arms toward me. And his hand was a doll made of yarn, small enough to fit in his palm. Chumpy, are you sure it's a uh, for you doll? Uh huh. Uh, yeah, the, the lady at the shop said so, so th that means it's for you, right? I, uh, are you sure it's not a voodoo doll? <laughs> he got her a voodoo doll! <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. Wait, what? That That's, oh man. Oh man. <laughs> At least he realizes it. Well, it sure looks like a voodoo doll. I mean, you do know what a voodoo doll is used for, right? Cursing people. Yeah, uh, I guess calling it Junpei isn't a very good idea then. Why are you giving me this anyway? It just seems really sudden. Oh, uh, well, um, you, you know how after June, um, we aren't going to get to see each other too much? After June? Oh, it all fits together so quickly. It's I mean, so nice. I just thought I'd, uh, you know... Oh, okay, well, 
How about we call it June then? Oh. Okay. So uh, I wanted to give you this. <laughs> You sound like some sort of tribal chief in a bad movie. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes. I, head of tribe. This doll, traditional charm of tribe. <laughs> he does not sound like a small child, but you know what? You know what? I don't care. I am loving it. So I give this. It me. So we always together. Oh, Jumpy. If something bad, then hold and pray. I go wherever you are. So here, take. Oh, reached on my hand and took the doll gently. Thank you. Thank you so much, Jumpy. Before I knew it, I was crying. Tears streamed down my face and fell into June's tiny yarn body. Oh, Jumpy. I'll never forget you, I promise. Jumpy looked straight into my eyes and said just five words. I'll never forget you either. Oh! The sky was a beautiful crimson red as it melted down toward the horizon. The last golden rays of sunlight stretched out across the city and painted themselves across the hills. We sat bathed in the warm light of the evening, just the two of us leaning gently against each other, shoulder to shoulder. The sun set and we didn't leave. Watched the silence as the darkness deepened, and one by one the lights of the town began to flicker on. Aww. There's still one thing I don't get. To be honest, it's the biggest mystery as far as I'm concerned, and also the only one that's really important. It has to do with June and Akane. Okay, so here's the thing. I, I think he's getting at what I'm trying to get at is like. How is it that June died? Like, Seven talks about the fact that she died, and yet we just saved her and kind of changed history there so she could set up the Nonary game and be in it. How could she have died and still be in the game at the same time? It doesn't make sense. A years ago, she died in the incinerator on the Gigantic. Yes, this is exactly what I'm getting at. You better answer this. But she's still alive now as June. But how? Was it because I tapped into the morphogenic field set and saved her nine years ago? Hmm. Alright, let's say that makes some kind of insane sense. If I did that, then... How do I make sense of what Seven remembers? Snake makes sense. He's blind. He couldn't have seen her body anyway. But Seven, he said he was sure he saw it. Does that mean there's some kind of historic discrepancy? Or, wait... Maybe that's not it at all. There is one other logical explanation. Was what you told me the truth, Seven? You look satisfied. No. No way. He couldn't. Hey, look! Over there! There's somebody next to the road! Huh? What? Hmm? Who the f- Oh my god! Oh my god, that's Alice! Oh my god, that's Alice! What? The desert around her rippled with heat. Standing there on the shimmering plain was a woman, her arm out and her thumb up. It was not long before Junpei realized who she was. Ooh. That was fucking Alice! That was... Um, that was fucking Alice! So wait, does that mean... I, okay, I gotta get past this, but... Don't forget your towel? Oh, right. Um... A sixth sense of something. But, hold on, does that mean... Does that mean Seven lied to us? I think maybe Seven lied to us. I think... Oh my god, maybe Seven was in on it from the beginning. Maybe he didn't lose his memory at all! 
maybe he was working with them the entire time. It would actually make sense. It, either way, I got all of the endings. Access the flowchart or return to the title screen. Oh, crap. So that's the coffin ending. Yeah, okay, so there's the key to open the coffin ending. Which I think is the coffin ending is just Snake wakes up and then that's it. I think that's that's all of it. And then moving on, we get to the final June ending here. Yeah, end. Yeah. Uh, epilogue, beyond the door, final question. Oh, wow. So, yeah, holy crap. Oh. Okay, so I just got back to the main menu and I, I decided to go into preview. There is preview B. I don't know what preview B is. I don't know if maybe it's for the next game because I know that this is a part of a, like, you know, a series. Um, let's see what this is. Let's watch this together and see what it is. Unfortunately, that's the wrong action. Or that's the wrong answer. Actually, I'm Santa. Unfortunately, that's the wrong answer. Actually, I'm Santa. Huh. Well, that's that's not so different but wow holy crap does so i guess this means that june really was akane and that she really was working with her brother owie or santa and um i'm guessing seven was in on it my biggest guess is that seven was actually in on it and he was pretending to lose his memory and everything, but he actually didn't lose his memory. He was also a part of the game from the beginning. And that's, at least that's my guess. It's just, it seems like Akane gave, um, Akane gave Hongo the chance. Uh, I'm going to go to the preview here just in case this like doesn't go away, but, um, so it seems that to me that, Akane wanted to give Hongo a chance to confess. That's what she wanted. Hongo instead decided to murder everyone. And more than likely, after um, he killed um, the ninth man, um, they decided to... It may have even been Santa on his own. Who knows if June was even a part of it. Um, they switched out Snake for, um, like, you know, uh, the other guy, Nishi, Nijisaki. And Nijisaki got killed. Because we never saw Nijisaki at all. All we saw was his, you know, exploded corpse. So, seriously, holy crap. This is some pretty messed up stuff. I mean, I'm, ah, it's kind of hard to make heads or tails of this, honestly. But, either way, that is 999, ladies and gentlemen. Nine hours, nine persons, nine doors. So, holy crap. I know there's another game in this one, and then um, I, I have played Zero Time Dilemma, which is the last in this entire series. And it's... I didn't play it all that long ago. It was only about a year ago. But what I think I will do is I will... I will also, um, sometime soon... Excuse me. Sometime soon, I will also get through... Uh, what is it? Virtue's Last Reward. I'll, I'm going to play Virtue's Last Reward for you and continue the series. And I'm going to, you know, finish this series out because, damn, this has been a great series and a fantastic game. Oh, dear God. I just, it's one of those things that I just, I could not believe how much fun I had. This game was really good. It was incredibly well written, incredibly fun. And, oh, I can't wait for more. Um, I'm probably going to do some personal research on this game on my own to see, like, you know, like, maybe fan theories or, like, whatever it is. Um, you know what, in fact, um, give me just a second. I'm going to take a look. I'm going to do, a, like, a little bit of research here. Um, I'm going to be right back and see if I can find out anything else to kind of help clarify the ending here. One second. Okay. So, I'm back now. Um, without going into spoiler territory, and I did not look up spoilers. I just looked up a little bit about her character and everything. Um, from what I found, yes, Akane really was the mastermind of this first game. You know, like, it, it wasn't anyone else. It was her and her brother. We don't know if Seven was involved. Like, at the end there, it's hinted. But we really don't know. And that's the, uh, that's the problem. 
and there's a lot of really good like hints in there. The one thing that like I wasn't able to find was I don't know much about Santa. I did not be I I mean like I did not uh I did not learn very much about it. I did not learn very much about Santa or like, you know, like, you know, what he does after this game. Because I don't think he's in any of the other games. I think he's only in this first game from what I see. Yep. It does, it does look like, um, it does look like Santa and Seven. I'm going to check out Seven real quick here. Okay. So from what I found out about Seven, yeah, they don't directly mention if he was involved or not but definitely it does look like he more than likely lied it may be that you know he is involved maybe not but considering the fact that he's very pleased with this outcome i'm willing to bet that he is involved with everything that went down at least that's my guess anyway so who this is kind of a mind fuck isn't it anyway Thank you, everybody, so much for watching. Appreciate you being here with me to solve the mystery with me. Um, I know that, that a little bit more is going to be explained in um, Virtue's Last Reward, which will be coming out soon. I'm not exactly sure when, but it will be soon. Either way, I'm not going to leave you guys hanging. I'm definitely going to play through Virtue's Last Reward as well. Anyway, thank you, everybody, so much for watching. Appreciate you solving the mystery with me. And we're in for more next time. We're going to find out more about this, you know, hopefully in the next game. So until then, stay beautiful, my beautiful, beautiful viewers. Hello again, my beautiful viewers. I wanted to say thank you to everyone who's enjoyed this whole series with me. It was a blast to play. And if you would, please, in the comments below, leave suggestions for games you would like me to play. Because I'm open to pretty much anything, and I want you guys to enjoy it as much as I do. So thank you very much, and have a good one.